All right, so thanks for coming into another video. Um, this is still on Corvette and track day stuff um, for it. So last year I did a video on kind of what I do to prep, prep the car, but I don't think I really showed too much of it. I think I really just did it while driving. So this year, I'm gonna actually show you what I, uh, I take with me to the track and why. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so all of this area is pretty much what I'm, what I'm taking. And I'll go through it, like not the stuff on the, the very back wall of the those items, but um, starting with safety side of things. So helmet, Hans, and head sock. Um, all of those are worn every single time on track, um, and those always will come with me. Getting into the fluids that I take, I take a spare quart of oil. Like if I need a top off, perfect. Um, if I need to do a full oil, oil change, I'm just going to have to go buy oil from, uh, from track side. Uh, keep a fresh can of, uh, brake parts cleaner. Um, this can has seen some better days, but, um, window cleaner, a fresh can, uh, or fresh bottle of, um, brake fluid. And then this is just my generic container that I've kept and been using for, uh, doing a brake. Uh, bleed. Probably going to change this to a smaller bottle this year. Um, honestly, when I first did my brake job, this was just what was in the recycling. Drilled a hole, and uh, that's pretty much it. But I'll probably just make it smaller for... Uh, if I'm just bleeding at the track, I'm not doing a whole flush. I don't need full volume. Anyways, uh, with brake bleeding, I just have a little Ziploc bag of different hoses and adapters and links to facilitate the bleed. Um, I've got uh, some funnels to help pour in fluid as needed. Painter's tape to be able to mark my car if I need to add uh, an X or change a number for the event, whatever it is. And then I've got two jacking pucks for the Corvette. So basically just slide up, turn, and then we're, we're able to use our floor jack, which brings me to the floor jack. Um, I do keep this, this being the aluminum one, uh, from Harbor Freight. I keep this pretty much and it stays in the going to the track, uh, box, um, in the back corner over there, I have a three ton jack. The thing weighs 90 pounds. I'm not carrying it to the track. Um, getting into the actual tools. So I, I recognize I don't need all of these, but um, I bring enough to be able to do enough. So I've got two extensions, well, three extensions, uh, half inch. Um, I don't know if I'm actually going to bring these or not. This is really just to be able to, um, to retighten or to take out a seat if I need to. I think me actually needing to take the seat out is probably unlikely. So those will probably go back. I'll probably just put a single eight inch or 10 inch, um, three eighths drive um extension in and this is just a flex 3 8 drive ratchet um i don't know what the length of it is but i can get plenty of torque on on this um but if i need more or to actually set it to a torque value i'll use that half inch torque wrench um the only half inch uh sockets that i take with me are thin wall and plastic um, coated socket for my track wheels. So that's a 17 mil. Um, this 15 16 is again for the seat. So I don't know if I'm actually going to take all of these. And then 24 uh, for my rear shock mount. Um, and then basically 19 all the way down to 6 mil or 10 mil really for, for both sets on 3 8 drive. And then I'll take the standard and metric um, wrenches with me. The reason I take the standard ones as well is I've got the Earl's speed bleeders on my car, and it is just a better fit with a 7 16 uh, wrench. There's absolutely no play. So I can just use that, break it loose, bleed the brakes, and move on. Um, otherwise, I don't have anything else that's metric on the car that I would need it for. So... Now that I'm thinking out loud, I'm just going to bring the metric wrenches plus the 7 16ths and be done. I'm silly. 
All right, getting back into screwdrivers, uh, bring a, a flat blade as well as a uh, Phillips or standard uh, just set of snips, hopefully just clipping zip ties, um, a set of cheap channel locks and a large adjustable, some Allen keys. Um, I do have a GoPro suction mount. Um, I don't trust this one enough to go on the exterior of the car. Um, and I don't know if I'm really even going to bring this one or not, um, but I'd have the ability to. I have a chin mount for the GoPro and then just some assorted adapters and fittings for the GoPro. My helmet does have a GoPro mount on the right jaw, so I have, I have options at least. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much what I take um, as far as tools and be able to work on the car. Now let's go ahead and hop over to the car and kind of where everything goes. Okay, so everything that will go into um, one of these 27 gallon um, Costco black and yellow totes. Um, I put everything in there except for my helmet and um, Hans. That usually just rides up in the front seat with me. So after I put in that harness bar, this can't slide all the way forward anymore. It only slides to here. So I do lose a little bit of space, but that's also space that I can put um, my camp chair back there. So not the end of the world. I do have these two little cubby holes, which when I'm at the track, I will have my TPMS tool, have a tire pump and tire gauge. And actually I have two more of the, the jacking pucks. I don't need to take two more with me, but whatever. That's what I keep on that side. Then getting over to my passenger side. Um, I don't have anything in here currently. But I generally will fill this entire cavity up with water bottles. Um, that way, I know I have plenty of water for the given uh, event that I'm going to, especially when I go to the track in the summer when it's ungodly hot. And obviously, the 315s, um, those will be going on the car before I leave for the track. I don't have space to to carry a full set of, of spares with me, but that's that's what comes. All right, and so that's pretty much what I take when I go to the track. Um, I used to take a pop tent. I don't take one anymore because I don't have enough heavy stuff to tether and make sure that the pop tent doesn't blow away. The last thing I want is my stuff blowing away in the wind and hitting or damaging someone else's car. Um, I'd be extremely upset if it happened to me, so I don't want to put myself in that position for someone else. Eventually, when I start trailering uh, the car to the track, then I can make that change, and I can tether it, and I will take one. But at this point, no need. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, uh, please consider giving me a, um, a thumbs up or comment saying that uh, it was helpful. Um, that's it. That's all I got. It's a pretty straightforward video. Um, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. And I think the next one will actually be from the track.